And I have to tell you that the uh, Congress of California Seniors uh, in Sacramento <laughs> is a very, very formidable organization. Today in California, the fastest growing part of the population is seniors, over four and a half million strong. This represents the largest senior community in the United States. The Congress of California Seniors, or CCS, was founded in 1977 and incorporated as a nonprofit organization to provide advocacy, education, and needed services for California seniors and their families. Our diverse board of directors is comprised of senior leaders and advocates from among the Congress of California Seniors many affiliated groups. The organization is funded through membership dues, contributions from affiliated groups, individual donations, and gifts from civic-minded corporations. First of all, I want us to dismiss completely dismiss the idea that only poor seniors are struggling. That said, the poor have typically been linked or identified by the federal poverty level. The CCS Education and Research Fund provides educational programs and consumer education to seniors, people with disabilities, and the underserved throughout the state. As a public advocacy organization, the Congress of California Seniors focuses its primary attention on health, housing, long-term care, senior service providers, elder abuse, equal justice, and consumer issues that impact older adults. We talk a lot in Sacramento about public-private partnerships, about community partnerships, not least uh, Mr. Lacayo, who um, has been involved in so many issues in this community for many, many years. And I have to tell you that the uh, Congress of California Seniors uh, in Sacramento is a very, very formidable organization. Um, and they are advocating uh, for you um, each and every day up in Sacramento um, and impacting uh, policy decisions um, specifically uh, for seniors um, and their families. We sponsor an active legislative advocacy program which helps draft legislation, monitors the progress of bills, reports to CCS members and the public, and provides testimony in support or opposition to key legislation or regulatory issues affecting seniors. We often work in coalition with other groups to help seniors speak with one strong voice. The art of advocacy now, though, is so much more complicated. I think if you look at our research in aging or in the geriatric field, you're going to find the general <coughs> consensus that the energy and the commitment of advocates at the national level has waned, and in most states and communities we find the same thing to be true. In recent years, CCS has broadened our efforts by developing and conducting public education and outreach programs for seniors, minorities, and the underserved in a variety of areas, including senior nutrition, elder abuse, caregiver training, health reform, safe use of prescription drugs, computer literacy training, and teaching HMO members and uninsured patients how to exercise their rights. We've helped seniors learn how to use telephone and utility discount programs. These projects were carried out by mobilizing our grassroots members and using volunteers to make presentations by conducting workshops and by participating in community health events. Today we had an opportunity to meet with Congresswoman Lois Capps to explain the health benefits that were passed by Congress this past year, answer questions and also make sure that everybody understood how the new Medicare and other medical benefits, uh, how we're affected by them. But telemedicine is also remote, being able to, um, in a rural clinic or even in someone's home, have a screening procedure done that is read by a specialist in a medical center in real time. 
CCS also works with the news media to speak out and raise awareness about senior issues. The CCS Education and Advocacy Program has proved to be an effective tool in influencing public policy decisions made by the U.S. Congress, the state legislature, and with executive branch policymaking boards and commissions. We've taken a progressive stance on most issues and worked with other advocacy groups representing the interests of nursing homes and hospital patients, consumers, the disabled, retirees, workers, and many others. To help educate senior voters, CCS also analyzes and rates all state legislators on their voting record related to key senior issues and publishes the annual Senior Legislative Report Card. As an umbrella organization for more than 100 affiliated groups, CCS serves the needs and interests of millions of Californians. Our broad-based coalition includes senior centers, women's clubs, trade union retirees, faith-based groups, retired federal and state public employee organizations, and tenant and homeowner associations. CCS is a vital grassroots organization with regional offices in Sacramento, Oxnard, and Los Angeles. Check out our CCS webpage at seniors.org and calseniorcenters.org.